Hello, this is Laura with Malmetia. Today, we're diving into the world of Gmail SMTP settings. If you've ever wondered what those mysterious strings of characters are when you're setting up your email on different platforms, well, you're in the right place. Let's demystify Gmail CMTP settings together. So first things first, what is SMTP? Well, SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It's the magic behind sending emails from one account to another. Now, why do we need Gmail SMTP settings? Well, picture this scenario. You're setting up your email on a new device, maybe Outlook or Thunderbird. Or perhaps you're configuring your business website to send transactional emails. Well, that's where Gmail SMTP settings come into play, ensuring your outgoing emails are sent correctly. There are different ways to set up Google's SMTP server, but today we're focusing on the Gmail SMTP server. It is versatile, accessible to everyone, and just as secure as other options. So now using Gmail SMTP settings is a breeze, but there's a little twist if you're using a two-factor authentication. In that case, you'll need to generate an app password to allow you to connect securely. We've added the link directly in the description to allow you to access this screen. Once you get there, you should reach this screen where you've got your name and you have to enter your password. When you get to this screen, you're gonna name your app. So let's call it test and then click on create. Here, it's going to generate a password that you are going to use to link your devices. Now follow the specific how to use it instructions provided by Google for each app and device so you can grant access to your account. Now let's get practical. Configuring Gmail's SMTP settings on your email client, be it on Outlook or Thunderbird or any other app, involves entering a few key details. You'll have to enter the following details. So the information on the left is required. And if asked, this is how you should answer on the right hand side. We also have an article that recaps everything that has been said in this video. So if you would rather read it than listen to it, just head on to our website. But hold on. SMTP settings are for sending emails only, and if you want to receive incoming emails, you'll need POP3 and IMAP settings. It's like the other side of the email coin. So to do that, we're gonna show you the easy step. To do that, it's very easy. On your computer, open your Gmail, then go to settings here, and then click on see all settings. Here, you'll want to click on forwarding and POP IMAP, and when you scroll down to pop download, just here, you have to click on enable pop for all email. In the IMAP access, which is just here, you will have to go ahead and enable it as well. And of course, save your changes and you are all set. On your email client side, you'll need to go into your settings and find the account settings section where your incoming messages and POP or IMAP configurations are managed. Once there, input the information below and values. Once there, input the below information and values. And there you have it. You've successfully set up your Gmail SMTP settings and configured POP IMAP for receiving emails. Just a quick reminder, be mindful of Gmail sending limits to ensure smooth communication. Bye.